Hi everybody, I'm sure you've seen these on the internet. They're the coiled alcohol burner and to be honest they work brilliantly with one small problem. Not this big. This is too big to actually get them to work and you can see I've been trying with a blowtorch which is a bit of a shame really because that is a lot of fuel and stop you having to refill. But I've got a solution. Take a lid and drill a 20 mil hole in it and then you take a bit of 22 mil pipe or three quarters of an inch and drop it in that hole. So it'll more or less reach the bottom. Then, bit of half inch, 15 mil pipe, and we're gonna put that in the center of there. But before we do that, we're gonna wrap it with this stuff, which is our magic wick. Now this is a carbon felt, an activated carbon felt, and lots of people have been asking where to get it. I buy this, mine, because it's an industrial product and I wanted lots of it and I've got lots left over. But you can buy it on Amazon where it's sold as a, a plumber's thing, I think. Anyway, all we do is wrap the felt around the inner copper pipe and feed an outer copper pipe onto it. Bit of JB Weld on there to finish it off and we can pop it in our alcohol. Now it is like a great big copper candle which is pretty much what it is. Anyway let's light it, turn out the lights and see what happens. So what's happening is the flame is heating the centre copper pipe that goes down into the alcohol that heats the alcohol, makes alcohol vapour, passes up the centre pipe and burns. So it works in a similar way to this. This preheats the alcohol fuel, so it wicks up here, goes into there, gets preheated, and wise we get a blue flame. But it can't cope with this amount of liquid, so these two pipes together are doing exactly the same thing. The blue flame is heating that central pipe. That's going into the ethanol, the ethanol's vaporising, coming up the centre pipe and burning, so it can cope with a much larger volume of ethanol than this can cope with. This works on little mason jars. Okay, that's brilliant, but <laughs> what do we do about it? Well, of course we want it to be a heater, and if we put a mantle on it, and remember these mantles are made out of stainless steel, which is this stuff here. It's just a roll of stainless steel that you get for stopping vermin coming into your house, and I've just folded over three bits of it to make a long mantle, and we put a top on, which is the top from a sugar container. We have ourselves a mantle heater. You control the height of the flame by controlling the height of the inner tube. The higher the inner tube, the higher the flame. And of course, if we want to, we can do that. <laughs> we have ourselves a plant pot heater. Not working on a candle anymore, working on that huge reservoir of ethanol, so that is going to last for ages and get really hot. So there's one more thing I want to show you, and that's this. This is a length of copper pipe that I've drilled a lot of little holes in. So there's a whole lot of one millimetre holes in the four sides going through there. And we're going to replace this straightforward piece of copper pipe, there we go, with this holy piece of copper pipe. Okay, let's light it and see what happens. So we get a much taller flame and it's a blue amongst its entire length. Isn't that cool? And the final thing I want to try is back on with the black pot. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> okay, the flame is traveling the entire length of the plant pot. It's roaring actually. Oh yeah, that plant pot's really hot. That took no time. So that got hot incredibly quickly actually. And you can see I put a mantle on top and sure, oh hey yeah, that is a, a load of heat coming from there. So we've got this body that we've heated up, so now we're radiating the heat. And then we've got a tremendous amount of convection coming off of there. So it's a multi-heater if you like. 
So we have looked at a number of ways of using a large reservoir of alcohol with the two pipes, one inside the other and a wick between the two pipes. I don't know if any other wicks will work because I haven't tried them, but give them a go. And it creates a stunning heater as it happens. I mean, it does have the disadvantage if you can't see the flame, so you're going to have to be careful around it. But it does have the advantage that that is a complete burn and it's really very hot when you get it going, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, that is so cool and much easier to make than the coil type of alcohol burner. And of course, the coil type of alcohol burner can't cope with a massive reservoir of fuel like this, which is the big issue with it, really. And it's out. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.